Welcome back, Officers of the Republic. It's your course on our role, Police Chief, AP Gains. So before I rank every Galactic Legend, in my opinion, as far as viability, farmability, free-to-play, accessibility, all that stuff, very important. We're doing the biggest ever kind of survey slash data gathering slash code monkeying of Galaxy of Heroes information regarding to farming and character power and all that stuff that has ever existed. Our goal is to have ideally in the multi tens of thousands of unique responses to this i'm going for fifty thousand um over the next couple of months or whatever while we work on some stuff that will dramatically help you take your galaxy of heroes farming and all that stuff to the next level uh we're talking crazy crazy stuff no one's ever done before um but in order to make that the as accurate as humanly possible um link in the description i will have a quick survey for you guys to fill out uh, we're going to do a bunch of them. We're going to do just an unbelievable amount of them because I just need raw numbers and opinions and all that stuff. We're we're using Swigo.gg data. We're using Hot Utils data. We're talking to all of the top players in the world. We're doing as much as we possibly can to gather as much information as humanly possible so that we can have the best data and the best accuracy and the best advice for all of you guys when it comes to the tool that we're working on to help you guys improve your rosters uh, and have the ability to kind of follow that whole thing by yourself regardless of where you are whether you're starting today you're already 10 million gp whatever it is we will try to allow you to have the most information easily accessible right at your fingertips it'll be fantastic okay so as far as galactic legend rankings i'm gonna keep this quick because i don't want this to be like a 10 minute video um things that i think about more so than anything is farmability viability value and all that stuff um i still believe to this day that jmk if at all possible to acquire is the best first galactic legend a lot and especially when we do roster reviews every account is different you're not always going to be able to do what's optimal right i think we can all understand and appreciate that just because something is optimal doesn't mean it's the best thing for you to do where you are because unless you're starting from scratch day one and you've never played before your account probably is something that's never existed before every account is unique so in many cases farming your first galactic legend just comes down to what you have and what you don't have do you have great ships do you not have great ships how many backbone teams do you have how many auxiliary teams do you have how many core teams do you have you know what what your guild power is looking like how much activity do you have do you spend money all of these come into consideration when farming gls and that's why there is such a wide variety of stuff that we're recommending on roster roofs and stuff like that for players as their first or second galactic legend because every account is different hence why we're trying to collect all of the data and make sure we can put together a tool to help you accurately and precisely figure out what's coming next simply because it's different for quite literally everyone so i i think jmk is still the best galactic legend in the game um and i think jabba and jml are kind of at each other's throats for number two right now now this is going to depend if you're 13 million gp you might throw ray in there just because ray always figures out some new character that comes to the game that makes ray unstoppable with 500 million percent defense data crons and blah 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 blah. not going to apply to most people so i'm going to kind of ignore her in that respect um jabba had number two quite handily over jml as far as power and stuff like that uh until cal came to the game and cal kind of completely transformed jml entirely and he is now a fucking juggernaut that he wasn't before as far as farmability viability value and stuff is concerned i have long held and now especially with cal coming out i and especially with layer requirements being announced jml is i think 99.999 percent of instances jml is the best second galactic legend and for the 00001% of GLs or players, that's probably just because JML was their first Galactic Legend, if we're being honest. He passes every heuristic and every metric and every check uh, dotted I and cross T as far as building up your roster with his, with his farming rotation of the characters that are around him, the characters he leads to, the characters he builds into, and all that stuff. I don't think there's, there's even a debate to be had, or at least a viable debate to be had. Um, that makes any sense that JML should not be the second best galactic legend or the second galactic legend that you farm. As far as the others, um, I'm starting to really like how rotating from JML into Leia Jabba works. Um, I think it's, I think a year and a half to two years in the future when most players are starting to farm their Jabba and Leia journeys, um, it might make more sense to go JML and to Leia into Jabba. Depending on how good Leia is and depending on what requirements you have existing it might be better right now to go jmk into jml into java into leia um 
obviously adding core auxiliary backbone and ships uh, as we kind of flow through there. Um, but I think for established mid-game players who already have JML and Profundity, I think it's quite obvious that, that Leia into Jabba is going to be the move, even if Leia takes you slightly longer. She's newer, she'll have better Datacrons, she'll have better lifters, she'll be a better character. Um, that's just the way the game works. That's how new GLs work. They happen to be, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, they happen to be good. <laughs> and that's totally fine. Um, margin GLs, uh, Lord Vader and Rey, not common. I would almost never farm Lord Vader, to be perfectly honest with you. And Rey... The only reason I was considering farming Ray was I lost a bet, plus all of the Ray 5 CLS leaks that came out where um, the Red 5 model that they had been working on at CG kind of was very similar to the Cassian Omicron and raids where like he goes back and forth between being Cassian versus being like a fucking Stormtrooper or something like that. And they were working on that um, over at CG and it was looking like that was going to come out much sooner than obviously it did or it will or it might. Um, so I've very much been putting Ray on the back burner in that respect because it doesn't look like that's going to be something they're going to be done with for a while. Um, as far as SLKR and C, SLKR used to be the GL that you farmed when your ships were bad, and now it's kind of just been taken over by you farm Star Killer, another backbone character, and an executor instead. Um, and that's becoming that's leading to a lot higher win percentages. So as far as first or second galactic legends c and SOKR in 99 percent of instances should not be in the first or second galactic legends there's an argument to be made that you rotate out of jmk jml or jml something else or something else jml into c simply because you only need to pick up like eight or nine extra low relic characters i still would rather put those resources towards backbone characters or farming up a java or a leia or even a ray in that instance uh, over C, but there is a solid argument that at GL4, GL5, you're close enough and you have a good enough base to where you can kind of take the viability hit to grab him to use him as kind of like a backbone team, basically, is kind of what C is at this point, sadly. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a talk about all the Galactic Legends. But very importantly, this video kind of only exists because I need you guys to go to the link in the description and fill out that survey. I'm just trying to get I'm going to do so many of these. I just need to get data. I just need to get numbers. I need to just start figuring out what the broader community thinks. Um, there will be polls all over the place. It'll be like a fucking strip club. You won't know what hit you. Um, but I do need all of you guys, every single one of you guys, to help me out and, and, and give me your opinion uh, so that I can start collecting data and stuff like that so we can make this tool as accurate, as mathematically perfect, as humanly possible. Okay. Um, wow, I totally lied. I didn't think this video was going to last eight or nine minutes, but it looks like uh, it looks like we got just about to eight minutes. So I guess that's what you get for thinking AP games can be quick and concise. Absolutely impossible. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, love you, and I'll see you later.